so dark and it's actually only 6.38 p.m. I'm driving in my Dadillac down to, I think it's called Avli, off of North Hubbard Street uh, in Milwaukee. I think it's, it should be more east side, right? Probably. So, um, my friend Ann Bausch invited me. She said that they have seven people going to dinner and it's like a Greek barbecue celebration dinner um, and they have room for one more and they invited me, so it's great. So Anne, how do I know her? So Anne, one of my um, my assistant and a uh, big part of the reason my business was very successful for the longest time, um, Lori, her sister, worked for me um, starting in like 2008. And Lori and Anne are sisters. There's another sister, Sarah. Um, got to know all of them very well. Still good friends with her. Um, Lori just got married. Congratulations, Lori. She eloped with Marty. Um, I don't know, New Zealand or something. Typical Lori, it's awesome. Um, so Anne is having dinner tonight with neighbors and friends. I don't know that I know anybody, but we're going to meet them tonight and hopefully have a great meal. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Anne, for inviting me. Hopefully you guys are able to keep up with that story description of how I know Anne. Um, very excited. So stay tuned. Let's eat some Greek barbecue. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Inspired Greek. Oh, we will see. Behind the host, yep, they're back here, yep. Thank you. Sorry, Mike. I missed the turn, too. Down there. Oh, you there. Yeah. Amy, Marissa. Marissa. Amy, nice to meet you. Marissa? Right. Right. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. All right, strike a pose. You're doing good. You're doing great. All right, so this is house wine you guys have? Yeah, so this is our Obli Red Lens. Okay. Where's it from? Um, from Obli. <laughs> It's a Greek wine that we have on. It is. I had Greek wine at, uh, what is it called? Down the road here, I ate at the other day. that they have their own label on it. Thank you. All right, so it's all you can eat pita, it looks like. <laughs> oh, no, they're charging us for it. But they're like $2. Oh, okay. yeah. And what is this? Saganaki yeah. with fig on top. So it's like a dessert? It's, no, it's cheese a with a fig spread. We choose to put it on pita because yeah, I find it weird. Okay. Just grab it? Yeah, it's like a cheese with fig jam on it. Grab it, right? Oh no, you gotta take I'll a bite of it. Okay, perfect. I won't make you. I'm eat like that. a caveman. <laughs> no. It's perfect. Yeah, if you're at a. So I was uh, at a work event with uh, educators from around the country, and as we're having dinner, uh, one of the guys says, "It's really good." So this guy says, this "Well, I was a waiter." At a high end Greek oh, restaurant. Uh, feta and red pepper, and, and then cod roe. The wait staff all bet one night. On How was the cod roe? Do you like it? I like it. Of the saganaki. Nice. So he said, 
Yeah. I got yelled at on my channel because I don't eat a lot of fish. People are like, I'm unsubscribing because you don't eat fish. Whatever. The lady in the chair next to me fell on the floor. And I was fired immediately because Perfect, the whole thing was silent. Oh, I, I would have cheered. I would have been yeah. all the way to the floor. I won 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah you I might have gotten I fired. But I would have been like, if I was in there, I would have been like, football, touchdown, you know. Hysterical, right? Mm. <laughs> to which one? The roasted red pepper? Yeah. The roasted red pepper is like my favorite. Uh, what kind of cheese is in there? Feta. Feta? Yeah. I'll take leftovers of that and like put it in my eggs the next day and then do like eggs on naan. The spice is perfect. It's good. Oh, yeah. And the tzatziki that'll come with the platter we're getting is really good tzatziki. Uh, is that what you're getting? Yes. Like, so you guys have done this? No. Okay. We got we got two sh free shots last time we were here. The bartender loved us. He was like 12. And he like slipped in this. He's like, you guys should come to this. And we were like, we should go to this. She like immediately messaged people. And I was like, done. We can do this. Is it a crazy wait list for this? Or it's booked? They, yeah. Their reservations are usually full. They usually have enough room for a couple of people to squeeze in at the bar or smaller tables. It'll be really nice come summer because the patio is an upper and a lower deck patio. So just open. Okay. In the last like three months, probably December. Yeah, just before the holidays. But they're already like rolling it out because now we can do to go win. It'll be brunch soon, double win. Oh, they're actually doing brunch soon. Yeah. I mean, like the view is amazing. Oh, oh boy. It's pretty weak because I was looking actually the other day Step one. Do we want to do Yeah. Holy cow. Meat on meat on meat. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh. So they charge $44 a plate. For per plate. Okay. How's everything looking for you? Looks good. amazing. Really good. Yeah. Can you tell us what it all is? Yeah, so we're going to have um, chicken Slovakia listed here. There is pork Slovakia. We have two lamb chops on the table. We are going to have um, sausages so that are like in paste. And then these are our Greek meatballs here. And then, you know, we'd love feedback on the sausages because we're thinking about serving those for our brunch menu when we start going. Right. Yeah, I'll be right over there looking for some wine. Could I see the wine list too when you have a chance, please? Thank you. I know. I again. I I never know how to be. Hold on. Perfect. Ah, uh, still one. Oh God, that's good. Yep. Did you use the word at Rodizio Grill? Oh yeah. Right. Just just yeah. Grab your tongs. I will try some, please, yes. Thank you. I know, I'm like just gonna half things. Meat, 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 meat. I know. So the chicken is different on each one? One's chicken, one's pork. Oh, okay. What's wrong with me? I mean, you're eating one-handed. Hmm? I don't know how you do that anyway. She's calling him. And she's asked about trivia. She's like our building Karen. Chicken's and she really doesn't, she has feelings that Judd. So the pork is a little dry. Okay. The chicken is perfect. So this is... Kaftidis? Oh, oh, the, the, the meatball, yeah. The meatball, yeah. So 
a ground beef, onion, ouzo, red wine, garlic, cumin, oregano, and thyme. Pretty good. We don't have a lot of Greek restaurants unless they're serving euros right. yeah. around yeah. here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not like going, not like going to Greek town in Chicago. Yeah. Pacific Produce. Have you guys heard of that on 27th Street? Oh. It's a. Yeah, it's like a, it's a market. Nice. Is that where you got your stuff to make fall? Yeah. They got all the uh, unique stuff, you know. It's the spices, yeah. yeah. That's where you go places. The one time I made pho, I found like a girl on Etsy who like just did the whole bag. And I was like, perfect, because I Great. don't, I don't have it. Yeah, it's really good. All right, we're gonna go right in for the sausage. She would bring sushi restaurants. So I have all the sushi I want. And by the way, by the sushi restaurants, I mean, you know in the stores, all those little sushi? The little is the sausage, snow box. Is the sausage on here? This one? Like four or five So like two or three times a week she bring over like sushi. Like oh, what is that thing? Oh, they're not listed on there. Okay. I'll bring the menu over to What wasn't on the menu? It's really good. Yeah, the sausage is great. I could take a little bit more, but I think it's it's moist. It's a little it's a little greasy. It's really good. So I think Lori wanted to get married before Shay, though, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> she and Shay were in competition about who had more like stamps in their passports and stuff like that. Because Shay lived in Dubai and yeah, Shay lived in yeah. Russia and like Shay did all this stuff. And then like Shay got cats and Lori did didn't have that, a dog. Did you try that? I thought it was. Oh, yeah. I didn't even do it. For the fries. Yeah, just, just yeah. like, you know, like, uh, I, I, and it's walkable to downtown. Oh, I just took it off. That's right. As opposed to alcoholic. So they connect and they understand that because of my mom. And we were at um, a wedding and we were actually like sharing a room. And Lori Shower and Marty just looked at me and he was like, why do you re-traumatize yourself? And I was like, what? And he was like, you're, and this is like, he sounds like he's from northern Minnesota. So it's very like, oh yeah, you know, with your mom. I think that uh, I think you do something completely different. That came fast. That's amazing. Moussakas. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. So it's eggplant, potato, ground beef ragu. It's very good. Eggplant. Let's do it. Oh, it's non-filtered. My favorite. <laughs> Please, non-filtered Greek wine. This is actually a very elegant wine. That's how it Are you from Greece? Yes, I am. So is Greece, Greece is not like Napa, like where, you, where it's super, super expensive. Like this stuff is pretty reasonable. The, like there's not like a area of wine country where you're gonna spend a thousand dollars a bottle, right? Oh, well, definitely you can find something. You can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the stuff on your menu is very reasonable. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Perfect. My daughter-in-law. Oh. I'm gonna be at. What's your name? Vasilios. Vasilis? Is it Vasilis or Vas Oh, so one of my high school friends who's a dentist is Vasilis. Vasilis Panagopoulos. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that thing died. We played uh, We played high school football together, so. Yeah, yeah, good old days. Yeah, I love that. 
that's why iPhones are better. The batteries on these things don't last long. I know. Done. So it is a cab and what? You should see his wine room, aka cellar. I yeah, I get it. Yeah. I like it. Let's do it. I know. I wore a sweater. Like I said, you can get along with anyone. <laughs> Are you going to keep doing the platters like this? It's fun to get to try everything. Like, it's very good. Thank you. He's always here. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for inviting me. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. And now that it's just me, I may just do that. I mean, it's like, okay, well. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, so cab Merlot-ish? Yeah, I was going to say, it's like a Merlot. Alright, so let's see what this is. This is what you got last time, right? It was so good. And when she said, like, eggplant, beef, shepherd's pie, lasagna, I was like, tell me how this is. I know. That's a lot of food. It's so much food. I love it. I ordered more. That sounds amazing. First of all, when you said duck, I know. I have to I have to have some of that because that was That's like a perfect Like the, the beef is like ground so finely. It, it's so it's so fine. It's unbelievable. My thing has the spicy aioli, so you're the sausage for brunch will be amazing. By the way, you were talking about, you were talking about eggs earlier. I was. Nice to friend. Yeah. <laughs> that was the part that we would always have all these friends. And Gracie was old when she went. She had no interest in playing with any other dogs. She was playing with other dogs. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know. She was like, play with other dogs here. And they were like, Chicken's amazing. Mm. She just follows us around. I, the first time I met him was actually at the Justin Timberlake concert in the bathroom. I was walking in with my daughter, and someone goes, Nothing to see here. Keep walking. Nothing to see here. Because I was taking her to the stall, and it was Giannis next to some random dude in the regular bathroom. Yep, and I thought I was tall. Yeah. No. no. Lived in the apartment, and he lived in the building next to me. And the one maintenance guy was like his plane to plane. He goes, one time, I had to launch Giannis' toy. <laughs> That's it. Oh my gosh. Anywhere towards anywhere. Got the easy crown. Thank you. Wow. Jason likes food. You will never go to, you'll never leave his house hungry. Ever. Take a dish. Isn't it so pretty? Prawns. Prawns. And they have like that spice. What's underneath is spicy. They're it's spicy really aioli. Good. This is what I got like two. So you just eat finger food, right? Yeah. That's how I ate them. He is got it. I've never had anything like this. It's so good. You can almost eat the tail. Oh, well, yeah. And you can get like all but that. That's It's literally what I had for dinner the last time we came. Oh, it's just the prawns. Yeah. 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 I'll steal a prawn. <laughs> oh, I need to do this. I need it is so good. <laughs> and they said the um, lamb chops had the pesto underneath. Oh. Yeah, you want to try the pesto. That makes sense. With the oven baked tomato slices. I gotta get through the masaka and then the prawn the and so I just I gotta do another one of these. I, like, 
I was a very like cautious shrimp eater until we did the like chef's menu down at Birch. And we go to eat the prawns. Yes. And the girl's like, if you're adventurous, the best part's gonna be sucking the juice from the head. No one else would, and I did, and I was like, it was so good. <laughs> it was. And now I'm like, well, now this is how I have to eat it. The Mediterranean chopped salad on it, though, I've never had anything like it. It's Do you try one or no? No, I'm not a shrimpy. Me uh, either. Really? Yeah, and it's so good. It's different. It's not fishy. It isn't fishy at all. It's, it's, it's a texture issue. Oh. No texture. No? I'm I'll try you, anything. You don't drink coffee and you drank coffee when you were in Cuba. You yeah, I'm not a coffee drinker either. No. Have a tea Never, drink. no. Yep, I was drinking tea. If you make and it espresso you... martinis, that's it. Oh. But when there's I travel, there's a special coffee. I'll try so make sure to get a little bit of the like pesto. Baked tomato. Is that the one oh, made out of poop? Tomato. They poop it out. They like Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, okay, right, yeah. And then the coffee in Cuba was amazing. But I think it's how they make one. They make it one of those like old fashioned metal pots on a stove. Yep. Poop There's coffee. <laughs> I've seen that. It's delicious. You should try it. You're welcome to share with me. You got it or you want me to bring cold food back? We're going to talk smack, saying I'm a caveman. That's okay. Oh. That tomato was fun. Yes, I think I told you my brother-in-law. It was unexpected. It was almost like it wasn't candied, but... Tomato was phenomenal. It's like when they do that um, the candied like lime or citrus slices for a cocktail. It's like that, but the savory version of it. Yeah. We went to a Greek seafood place in the Venetian. Wasn't a huge fan of that. Like they served these little like fish, and they didn't descale them properly, and it was getting stuck in people's throats. I don't, I can't, I try so hard with texture, but every once in a while fish texture is just beyond my, yeah. Yeah, and that's one thing I didn't try, thank goodness. These fries are really good. They're really good. They're so crispy. I was just teasing when I said, are these Greek fries? I didn't really think there was one. Do you need more? Do you need more? I feel like once a month is enough. I kind of agree. I can go out I told myself I can go out to eat once a week. Yeah, there you go. The shrimp, the, the lamb, lamb, the shrimp, the sausage is very good. You gotta do biscuits and gravy with that sausage, with the grease. Great picks on this stuff though, it was so good. Off my list, Just very good. To me on if there. they don't do potatoes right, <laughs> you're done. Okay. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> She said it to me and I was like, why didn't you buy it? Where was I? Pepper pot. Oh, so. Oh, I'll steal That it. was my college roommate. Yeah. And he was doing like an art thing. Oh, that's, that's a big around there. So, and then I tried some of the uh, Jamaican jerk oh, yeah. chicken. Yeah. It was so good there. So I tried and to make it at home the next day. It was not so good. Yeah. It was so, it was amazing. Yeah. Right on MLK, right? I love yeah. the good jerk chicken. Yep. The plantains. And it wasn't like, it was sort of dry. Like, uh, the, the, the outside was dry. It wasn't just doused in it. It was. No. It was, it was moist though. The chicken was moist. It was juicy. It was, it was really good. Who really like like had their events? Why'd you, why'd you come here? Because of work? No, I still work for my company in San Francisco. You just wanted to move here? I know. Um, Lori got a job with him, and Lori's like, I'm going to meet this. I met this guy on Craigslist, and I'm going to work for him. And I'm like, where are you going to work for him? He's a landscaping company, and the office is out of his barn. So we went along. I went along. This guy comes walking out of a farm field with two huge Great Danes. And I was like, I don't know if you should work here. But then Apollo came up and rested his little head right here, and I was like, oh, you can work here. If his dogs are like this, he must be nice. I loved Apollo to the day he passed. Like, he was a wonderful dog. 
No, like same thing. Yeah, we're gonna get double of what we already got. Just do it again. <laughs> they're all like, we're all like, what? what? We might look at dessert then for the channel. Should we just get two of each and then we just share them or what? Let's do that. I want my own chocolate milk. You guys can get whatever the fuck. All right, get three of those. Oh my god. I do miss working over there because between Gillies for ice cream or going to Aggie's Bakery. Oh, I'm so allergic good. to whiskey. Are you? Yeah. Every time I drink it, I break out in handcuffs. I was like, I was about to say, I've seen you drink oh, plenty of <laughs> But no, Culver's, my confession is, for the longest time, like, I really struggled to drive by without stopping and getting a spicy chicken sandwich, two double cheeseburgers, oh, a family-style fry with ranch. I couldn't have, but I got two waters, so they thought two people ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Just order enough drinks, and they I like you get all of that, and you're like, and water. <laughs> two, two waters. Two waters. Two waters. Two waters. Yeah, there's, there's two people here. There's totally two. Take it at home. They're not the same, oh, so when I crave here. one, like my thing is like, if I'm craving a Culver's. Okay, so I do High Limit Gambling is my main vlog. I have almost 500,000 followers on YouTube. And then I do Jason Was There. It's my experiences around. Dead. Uh, all over the country. So like I'll do like Michelin star dining um, or like when I went to the Super Bowl recently or I'll go to like Kentucky Derby, I vlog all that on there too. So like I went to Odd Duck recently here. It's really good, yeah. That's actually going to be really good with the dessert. Yeah. So Nikki, who used to live in Place yeah. Was the best. Thank yeah. you. Like, okay. I do always think that at like business centers where they're like, well, just get one dessert and we'll take two bites. I'm like, no. No. We're either all getting them or all done. It's like, it's it's not moist, it's like hard. That's interesting. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's like semi sweet. Like, really, it's actually. Wow. And who is vanilla custard? It's it's Cups. Gilly, it's Caps. Oh, it's custard. That's not like anything. I've never tasted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's custard. really good. It's like crunchy. It's like it is moist. Mm -hmm. The That's custard on really the top sort of mask it, but there's peanuts in there. Yeah. Wow. It is really fun and crunchy. It's almost like a Nestle Crunch. Yeah. yeah. But with peanut, uh, with peanuts. <laughs> Instead of Rice Krispies. That's fun. Uh, probably my favorite restaurant in Milwaukee. Did you say Fresh Sanford. Sanford. That's what you said. That's what you I love Sanford and I love the Diplomat. I just went there too. Phenomenal. But I, I would probably do the Odd Duck over the Diplomat. But I do love the Odd Duck. I have to make the Odd Duck. Odd Duck is going to give you so good. phenomenal. So good. I met the owner of Diplomat. He was like, he was really nice. We haven't put the video out yet, but it was, it was a great experience. But the thing I like better about Odd Duck, they seriously take you around the world with every dish. Yeah. And it is. And they're spot on. He tried really hard then. I just think things have changed. I don't know. Is that more face? Are you supposed to grab it? I don't know. This looks like baklava. Oh, it doesn't like baklava. You know when you have sorbet with a wedge of box. I know, I was like, I have to take a picture yep. of this because I don't understand what it is. This this is ridiculous. Is it fake flavored? I don't know. Come on in. I don't know what kind of I don't know what flavor that is. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Do it. That's very refreshing. Oh. What is that made out of? Uh, oh, it's like baklava. Yeah. Oh, it's baklava. What, so good. What, what flavor is this? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. I... Mm -hmm. So what is this? I'm just going to take one. There's six. Do it. It's like phyllo dough and... Nice. Is it like marzipan? 
It's like a Greek cannoli. Skis, it's easier because you can just. So no, not alcoholic. Point, no words, you just oh, it's alcoholic. Okay. So it's a Greek flavor. It, it promotes digestion. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Maybe thanks for coordinating. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks everybody. For inviting me. Nice to meet everybody. So they talked about the roar, or was it Augie, our little baby bartender, yeah. like when we're here. Very we're nice. talking about making this into like a summer margarita. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure having everyone. Thank you so much. Ah. <laughs> how did you do how that, Jason? Yeah, you're not bad. Oh, too bad. You yeah. can No, no, no. I talked about that. Don't ever do no. All right, so um, this bill I think is very reasonable. It's less than a bottle of wine at a lot of places I go to, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So for six people, and what do we have? One, two, three bottles of wine. Three bottles of wine and everything on the menu. Two house and then two year two, so four. Yeah, so four bottles of wine. So the total with tax, five ninety five sixty seven. It's a hundred bucks a person. It's a steal. He did comp the it says shot and then manager they do. Item, $27 for something else. So I'm not sure what that is. No, but for it's 600 very bucks, reasonable. yeah, very, very reasonable. And honestly, the food, food the food is really good. And how many times are they turning this floor here? Maybe twice the whole night, that's yeah. it. Because yeah. now it's, there's nothing in here. There's nobody oh, in here at this point. Downstairs. Oh, there's a second? Okay, yeah. all right, all right. And they're gonna have one, they're gonna have one outside. Okay, um, we're not going downstairs. It's very zen downstairs. Yes. The food, for the most part, was phenomenal. I thought yeah. the pork was a little bit dry, but it, it, with what they're Sorry, doing, I think, I think it depends because ours was actually really good. Ours was so, good. You said that, I Yours was, like, was good. Okay. Hit or miss. Yeah, mine was, but was the dry. chicken was perfect. Yeah. Chicken was perfect. Oh my god, the lamb chops. The lamb, lamb chops. chops. Both lamb around chops the lamb were chops. phenomenal. Those were that was some of the best shrimp I've ever had. Um, the spice on it was just crazy. Perfect. Dessert. Over the top. Sorbet. And this is all I mean. probably made here, right? I mean, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. So, 100%, this is a must try. Out of a five, so we're doing a new rating system. I used to do like out of a 10 and 0.1. So now we have five stars on top, and we only can fill it in halfway to make it real easy for people. Um, this all day is a 4.5. It's Agreed. not a drive by, it's a must try. Um, Agreed. I would, I would do this. So, and honestly, it's probably the company that makes it a little, no, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> it helps going out to you with, with really nice people, uh, four people I haven't met before, yeah. great, I appreciate you guys inviting me. So. Thanks for coming. Thank yeah. But I would definitely get out here, what do you call it? It's called a, Avli. Avli, Avli, okay. Uh, and I, apparently Giannis. Is one of the owners. From the box, yeah, he's, he's a part owner here, he's obviously Greek, so you guys want to get here. Uh, check it out. Maybe you'll see Giannis bumping his head on the ceiling in this place. <laughs> yeah, it's actually right down the road from Fiserv Forum, mm -hmm. but definitely a, a great place to try. Let me know if you've been here or if there's other places in Milwaukee I need to try. If you're not subscribed to Mr. Hanfei, which I know you are, make sure you do. And subscribe to this so you get notifications because I might go live sometimes from restaurants and you won't know unless I'm unless you're subscribed. You're Thanks for watching. Okay, so I forgot to tell you. So you guys are like, what'd you tip? So six, it was five ninety seven or five ninety five sixty seven. I gave them so they're suggesting uh, twenty percent is one hundred and twenty six dollars, and I gave them a little bit more. We gave her three hundred bucks. So fifty percent tip. They worked really hard and they all worked together. It's it's a team effort, so they're gonna split that. Very happy. So. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. What a great experience. Had a great time meeting some new people. Thank you, Anne, for inviting me. And the restaurant was great. Obviously, I said it's a must try. You gotta get here and try this place. I think it's gonna be here for a long time. I cannot wait to try the ones in Chicago. Get over here, try it out. Let me know what you think.